Well, I'm glad that you're here today. I'm going to share with you some tips and a little bit of information about how we can eat a lot better with common ingredients that we can find anywhere in the supermarket or in the farmer's market. In this, ti in this time, for example, we're going to be talking about butternut squash. That's a starting ingredient of the month. Uh, I went to chiropractic school. I'm a chiropractic physician. And I also went to Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts, and I graduated from there. Um, I have had a passion for getting, trying to get in shape and getting better, eating better. Um, and I tried to combine the two of them, and that led to a lot of uh, what you see today. I am a cancer survivor, and um, I had a lot of uh, health issues. I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, my triglycerides were out of control, and we discovered that switching a lot of our ingredients in our kitchen and eating a lot better, we were able, I was able to take, all, take myself off of all medications with the doctor's approval, of course, and lo I lost about 80 pounds. So I used to be a little bit on the chubby side, so now I'm a lot thinner and healthier due to the fact that we switch our eating habits. So that's what I'm going to share with you a little bit. And it's a lot, it's easy. I mean, it's, it's not a lot of work to find good things to eat wherever you shop, either at the supermarket or the farmer's market. There's always going to be something in season that you can use to get a lot healthier. So these basically are what we call gourds or of the Curcubitaceae family. They are considered botanically a fruit, even though we eat them as veggies and uh, we do um, pies with them and we can also do salads like we're going to do tonight. It's considered technically a fruit. Um, it has a very sweet flesh. So we have a little bit of uh, an example here. That's what a, a butternut squash looks like. And I'm sure that you've seen these all over the place, especially at this time of the um, year because they are usually planted during the summer months and harvested in the fall and winter. The seeds of the pumpkin are very, very healthy. And I got shelled pumpkin seeds here today. And these can be eaten with your salads. They can be added to breads. In this case, the bread doesn't have them. But you can eat them roasted by themselves. You could put a little bit of, um, a little bit of salt and pepper on them and a little bit of olive oil, put them in the oven, and they can be added to pretty much any dish that you want. Basically, they come in all shapes and sizes and colors. So when you go to the stores, you'll see uh, green pumpkins, you'll see them like this, uh, kind of like orangey. You will have your uh, spaghetti squashes, which are kind of yellow flesh. Um, some quick facts about it. Very low calorie item. So pumpkin, uh, or any of these squashes are very, very low calorie. So if you're looking for a low calorie food to eat with uh, maybe as a side dish or maybe as a main dish, you're, that's your uh, food. And I, I ate a lot of them when I was on my weight loss track. I had pumpkin about twice a week, either baked or uh, we pureed it or made a soup out of it. It's again, very nutritious. It has a high amount of vitamin A, B6, and vitamin C. Vitamin A is very good for your eyes, your bones, your muscles. Vitamin C helps you also fight infections. And this time of the year, it's a very good food to have on hand because this time of the year, due to the weather changes, a lot of us will, time, uh, will tend to get sick. Might get a little bit of a cold or something like that. Uh, B6 is an excellent vitamin as well for the nervous system. So. It's, again, an all-around good food to eat. It's a great source of fiber as well. There's a lot of these uh, squashes that are high in fiber, and that provides you with good motility in your intestines, so you're not holding a lot of toxins in. It helps sweep out the material that has accumulated in your intestines. So if you're thinking about, for example, um, persons that have constipation problems, that's an excellent uh, pro, uh, product to have. It's also high in monosaturated fats, so it's really good for your heart. These are fats that will not clog your arteries. These are the good fats that will help keep the system clean 
and without any problem. So if you're looking again for a food that is high in this type of fats, monosaturated fats, excellent, and very rich in potassium. Potassium is another mineral that your body needs in good amounts and it will help your muscles stay uh, without having spasms or something like that. So I recommend uh, that to my patients as well because most of the uh, people that I see in my practice go as well for musculoskeletal problems. They go for back pain, neck pain, and again, potassium is one of those minerals that helps these muscles relax as well as magnesium. Also, and this is something that helped me a lot, it helps lower the blood pressure, takes your blood pressure down. And uh, let me just make a, a little disclaimer here. We're not saying that these things will cure any of these problems that you may have, but it may help you keep your blood pressure levels low. And again, it helped me a lot. And also helps fight cancer because of the antioxidants that it has. So this is, again, an excellent, excellent food item to have in your kitchen if you want to keep yourself in good health.